A Lituânia considera que a Ucrânia deve ser convidada a aderir à NATO e diz que esta é a única forma de garantir o seu futuro. Em declarações à Euronews, o ministro da Defesa lituano demonstrou apoiar o plano de vitória apresentado por Vladimir Zelensky, embora vários líderes da União Europeia e aliados da NATO estejam relutantes em fazê-lo. You know, Lituânia sempre apoiou a Ucrânia's invitação à NATO, mm -hmm. because Our, in our uh, understanding, you cannot send the message to Russia, but we have at least informal veto power on NATO enlargement. It's the biggest mistake. Ukrainian nation, which fights for their independence, but also fights for our security, deserves, uh, you know, determination right. Which organization, which community to choose for the future? for their children, for, you know, for the generations. So that's why invitation is not membership, mm. but it's a point of no return, it's irreversibility. So I think we can do this uh, move, at least invitation. I mean, there's more than just hesitancy around this invitation to NATO for Ukraine, because what they were given was this, quote, indestructible bridge towards membership, but not an invitation. The United States is not too keen, and countries like Slovakia and Hungary are actively hostile to yeah. that. Yeah, just wordings about irreversibility, bridges, sorry, is not working. Mm. We need actions. If we will not make actions, uh, you know, I remember the story the, before the, before the full-scale war. In 2017, 2018, after Crimea and after Donbass, and we heard a lot of voices from our friends. Look, if you will give a weapons to Ukraine, it will escalate. Mm. It will provoke. And we gave not enough for them. And you see what happened. Doing nothing is escalatory. Thinking what you, you know, uh, your, your support to Ukraine can escalate the situation, it's a mistake. Pode assistir à entrevista completa na Euronews na quinta-feira à noite às 7h45. Um, from the United States, from the UK, in relation to long-range weapons.